Fighting between siblings is normal, and for more than a decade, watching the relationship dynamic between the Kardashian-Jenner siblings has been a favorite pastime of so many people around the world. Right now, all eyes are on Kourtney and Kim Kardashian because aside from their ongoing feud, many say that Kim has been flirting with Kourtney's husband, Travis Barker. This begs the question, how low can these sisters be in the name of their petty rivalry? Keep watching until the end of this video to see Kourtney Kardashian fires back at Kim for flirting with Travis. Kim Kardashian allegedly flirts with Kourtney's husband, Travis Barker. There's a rumor going around that during the recent gender reveal party of Kourtney and Travis Barker, apparently Kim Kardashian was not about to let her sister get all the attention and had to ruin the day for her by trying to flirt with Travis Barker. Kim allegedly was all over Travis and only stopped when Kourtney loudly interrupted the two and put her foot down. If this rumor is true, Kim's actions seem even more distasteful if you factor in her flirtatious past with Travis Barker and her ongoing feud with her sister Courtney. It is not unbeknownst to everyone that the two oldest Kardashian sisters haven't been on good terms since Courtney married Travis Barker in May 2022. Even though the two put up a front to show that they are okay by attending each other's important events, it is undeniable that there is an obvious rift between the two. And it all started because Kim collaborated with Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana was the luxury fashion house that was involved in Courtney and Travis Barker's portfolio wedding last year. And only a few months after the two tied the knot, it was announced that Kim was releasing her collaboration with the same fashion house. Apparently, Courtney did not like this at all because she felt like her wedding was just a place for a business opportunity between Kim and Dolce and & Gabbana. Courtney also expressed her disapproval of Kim's extreme need to constantly earn money, even at the expense of her family's happiness. In an episode of The Kardashians, Courtney said, I just feel like there is such an abundance of opportunities. It isn't about business. There is just so much, and it takes precedence over hurting your sister. It is legit copying my wedding. She also added, It is just stupid because it is a deeper thing than that it is about our grabbing whatever is in the way. It is such an abundance and an excess. It is never enough. It is never okay to just not do something or turn something down. I think it's also subconscious. I think she sees everything I had there and takes it for her own. And she doesn't even see it. She sees it as dollar signs, but I see it as, oh, you were there. You weren't happy. Everyone said something to me. They were all like, she is spiraling. Amongst the siblings from the Kardashian-Jenner family empire, Courtney is one of the siblings who gets overshadowed by the fame and money that Kim or Kylie have. So Courtney might have felt upset over the fact that Kim immediately took away something that was hers and claimed it as her own, as if she doesn't already get enough attention. On the other hand, Kim denies ever intending to copy her sister's wedding. In their show, The Kardashians, she said, I'm really confused how this narrative came into her head. Kim even claps back by implying that Courtney was actually the one who copied her first. I got married in Italy, and I'm saying you copied me by getting married in Italy? Who performed at my wedding? Andrea Bocelli. Who performed at Courtney's wedding? Andrea Bocelli. You stole my fucking wedding country and my wedding performer, but I'm copying her Dolce Vita lifestyle? The fight between the two started over such a petty reason, but since the feud is still going on and Kim has been rumored to be flirting with Travis Barker, it seems like this petty fight is now starting to become more serious and might permanently ruin their relationship. Kim Kardashian and Travis Barker's past flirty relationship. One of the reasons why this rumor about Kim flirting with Travis Barker and even Courtney's relationship with the Blink-182 drummer in general is so controversial is the fact that Travis has been so open about having a huge crush on Kim Kardashian in the past. During the early days of Courtney and Travis's relationship, many fans were skeptical about the authenticity of Travis's feelings for Courtney. In the drummer's memoir, he spoke candidly about finding Kim f***ing hot and eye candy. He also talked about how even when he was still dating Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian's best friend and boss at some point, he was secretly checking out the reality TV star when the three of them were hanging out. You might think that I would be doing the worst things with this girl because of her tapes, but it was the exact opposite of any other encounter I've had with a woman. With Kim, I wanted to be nothing but a gentleman to her. It was so weird. 
Travis also wrote this in his memoir, likely implying that he felt like his crush on Kim at the time was serious because he still wanted to respect her even when her scandal existed. I honestly haven't talked to him about it, but I'm assuming because he's such a big part of Courtney's life that hopefully they will be on. This is just a weird statement to make, given that it also implies that if it were any other woman who wasn't Kim, he would have done worse things with this girl because of their past. The drummer's feelings, however, seemed to be one-sided at the time, given that Kim was dating Ray J back then. Travis's ex-wife, Shanna Mogler, accused Kim of sleeping with her ex-husband when they were still together, which Kim responded to in an interview and said, no, false narrative, we've been friends for years and I'm so happy for him in court. Fans react to Kardashian sisters. It seems like Kim Kardashian is suffering the effects of being an overexposed celebrity, because even though she is the more popular sibling than Courtney, a lot of people are taking Courtney's side and defending her stance on the issue. A lot of fans of the show have been calling Courtney the boring sibling, but it seems like those people are the ones that are empathizing with her situation as well. A person commented, I think the issue is how much the family dismisses Courtney's feelings. This is why she distances herself and has her own family. I think Courtney has every right to be upset. She finally got married to someone, her being someone that never wanted to get married, and her money-hungry family made a business opportunity out of it. While another one said, Courtney is right. Kim has everything. In fact, she has an abundance of everything. Courtney should have been left feeling like her wedding was special, unique, and sacred, not another launch pad for Kim. On the other hand, some can also understand Kim's desire to always work hard because she basically boosted her entire family's popularity, therefore opening opportunities for all of them, and she doesn't want to take that for granted. Regardless, maybe both of them just need to remind themselves how much they love each other and that they will actually do anything for the other one to be happy and safe, just like how they were when Kim got robbed in 2016. I just kept on thinking about Courtney. I kept on thinking she's going to come home and I'm going to be dead in the room. And she's going to be traumatized for the rest of her life if she sees me. Which just shows the care between the sisters beneath all of the fighting. Many people have said that this whole situation is such a weird thing to fight over. But if you have a sibling, you would know that this is exactly the kind of thing that siblings fight about all the time. The only difference is that Kim and Courtney's fight involves a lot of money and it's televised for the whole world to see. In this sibling rivalry, are you Team Kim or Team Courtney? Do you think their relationship will recover from this feud? Do you think it's true that Kim was flirting with Travis Barker? Or are the whole Kardashian-Jenner clan perhaps staging the drama for more attention? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments below. Thanks!